Hi, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place and today we're doing the handover, setup guide and review for the Swift Fairway 530. On the near side we've got an external 230 volt socket, got an external locker here that in here we've got hidden a 230 volt socket, a 12 volt socket and an aerial socket. And I've actually got a TV bracket so if you want to watch television in the awning, you've got the uh, possibilities to do that, which uh, you don't see that very often. Next along, we've got underbed storage. So access into the seating at the front, and then we've got a external barbecue point. In the front we're set up for propane, it's the red bottle, this has got the hand wheel on there so you don't need a spanner, just remember this is reverse thread and then it's just turn the bottle on on the gas. Handbrake and it's all set up on the Alco chassis so if you have a look through our other videos we've got a guide to show you how to hitch up it's set up on the 13 pin electrics we've got the aldi heatings on this caravan so we've got the flue for our heating and hot water for the aldi our water pump we drop the one end into the air crawl and then the other end just pushes in just make sure the little blue clip is clipped in we've got room for 110 amp leisure battery our motor mover key switch which we'll show you that when you come you can connect an external aerial onto the little socket there and then our 230 mains hook up just plugs in as so just behind the wheel we've got our two wastewater outlets and then we've got our cassette toilet top one is for your flush water so to fill the flush water up it's a little watering can or a bottle and pink chemical and then the actual cassette at the bottom we just remove that slide the top out and then open the cap off press the little air valve and that will empty out just tucked up the very top of here we've also got the drain off for the flush water so to drain off our flush water before we travel or over the winter we just pop the little tube the little bung out the tube and that will just drain that down when we push this in just make sure it fully locks back into position So just above the door as we walk in, we've got our main control panel. We've got our main on and off button, and then we've got our water pump on, our lights on, and then our overhead cabinets lights on. At the very top, it tells us whether we're on the leisure battery or on the vehicle battery if we were towing and we've got the 13 pins plugged in. We've got the solar panel working at the moment, so we've got the picture of the sun, and then the little electric sign there just lets us know that we've got our mains electric plugged in also before we put our water pump on there's a couple of things that we need to do and that's just basically making sure all of our taps are in the closed positions the taps are actually over the sink and then just underneath of the seat here is our drain off valve so during the winter and if we're not going to use the van for quite a while, we'll want to drain the caravan down. And to do that, we open all the taps up and then we lift this yellow bung into the upright position. That will then drain the system down and then that will drain all of the water out for you. What we do just have to make sure then is that when we come back into the caravan, we've put this back down, turned all of the taps into the off position and then we can go ahead and put that water pump on above the door. While we're underneath here, for the other side of the drain off valve, we've got our main consumer unit with all of our trip switches, our fuses, our master sort of shut down for our electric system. And then over on this other side, we've got our charger on and off. So when we plug into the 230 volt, this will turn our charger on. So it will run the 12 volt system and charge our battery. And then just here, we've got our heating and hot water. Now we've got the Aldi heating on this one and that won't work unless we've got this heating and hot water power button pressed in. So just make sure that that's pressed in and illuminated and then when we need to put our heating on afterwards, that will all work as it should. 
just above the door then we can put our water pump on so we literally just press our pump you'll hear the pump kick in and then we can get the water through the system by literally just turning the taps on and then if we drain the system down it's going to take a good five minutes or so just to get all the air out of the system and get a nice steady flow of water as we've got now and again it will be coughing and spluttering for a few minutes and then once we've got a nice steady flow of water on the hot and the cold we know the system is then full and ready to use do that on your bathroom tap and on the shower just to get all of the air out we can then go ahead and put our heating on etc before we do that we'll just get the gas through the system and the easiest way to get the gas through the system is with our hob so once we've turned the gas bottle on in the front locker we can then start to get the gas through onto our gas rings as so and again we can physically see that we've got the gas coming through the system which is why we normally do like this first while we're here we'll run the grill up and again it's just put it to the big flame hit the igniter that will light then up and then the same with the oven and then this will just make life a little bit easier for lighting our fridge and our heating system if we want to use it on gas one thing just to note is our shelves in the oven these little parts should always be facing the back um, that makes sure that these shelves stay nice and secure um, and they won't fall out um, and you can actually use the shelves properly then a lot of people turn them around and try and use those as handles and that's not what you should do uh, they should be that way and again we can then pop our oven on and then we can set our temperature from 240 or right down to 160 and as I say, everything then, like our fridge, uh, if we use that on the gas, that will all light up a lot easier. To put our fridge on, we literally just hit our main on button. It'll go over to the gas, and then you'll hear a little bit of a ticking noise, and then that should light up on the gas for you and stay lit. We can then control the setting of the fridge, how cold that gets with the little control dial here if we're on 230 and we didn't want to use our gas we can just press our plug symbol and that will run the fridge on 230 volt if we're towing and we've got the 13 pins on the vehicle we can just press our battery once we start the engine that will then start to run from the vehicle uh, on the battery it won't freeze down like it will on the gas or an electric but it will just keep it nice and cool and again at the end then we can just literally turn that back off on our heating system then the controls are just above the door uh, as i say underneath of that seat we have to press the orange button our heating and hot water button before we get power through to this and that will be represented then when we press our menu button when i press that you'll see a little plug symbol just up in that top corner and that lets us know that our electric is plugged in and uh, it has got the power to it basically we can then set our control so we've got internal temperature so we can bring that down to where we want that to set our internal temperature our hot water the first dial there that will run our heating and hot water combined um, and heat the water up just to a normal nice temperature we can put that onto a boost that will now run for about 30 minutes on a boost putting all the power through to the hot water system it does mean that it will turn our heating system off um, for about 30 minutes so if you want hot water and your heating on you do need to run it just on that first setting we can then control it whether we've got it on electric so we've got one kilowatt two kilowatts or three kilowatts so again depending on what site we can then vary the power that that is using and then if we wanted to use it on gas again it's just simply press our gas symbol and that will then as long as we've got gas connected up and we've got the gas through the system as we've showed you that will light up on the gas and run for you we can then turn everything back off 
and just press our off button once we've finished. We've got individual lights around um, the top cabinet lights. We can dim from the from the control panel. Uh, we have got little light switches um, throughout the caravan that will put our different lights on. We've got different switches over here which will turn our other lights on. And then some of our spotlights have got little individual switches on also. And then in the bathroom we've got a light switch just by the sink and that will put all of our lights on for us. Cassette toilet, flush water is just with the blue button and that will put the flush water through once we've filled that up. And then to let everything through into the cassette at the bottom it's our grey handle and we just pop that to the side and that will let everything through for you then. We have also got the roof extractor fan in this one, so we've got a main on and off button which is in the middle and then that will start extracting out. We do have to open up the roof lid and again then we can control the speed of that one. We can also then bring it the opposite direction if we let that fan stop and then we can use it like a cool air fan and actually have it blowing cool air inside of the caravan or we can turn that one back off and again just make sure that we bring the lid back down once we've finished and again just before you go towing just make sure all your windows are all locked in the roof lights are all down um, and again one thing to make sure is that our microwave plate is also removed out of the microwave and put under the cushion before that travels otherwise this could come open and the plate will crack on the side so again we'll make sure that microwave plate is put underneath the side for you if there's anything that you get stuck with just let us know and we'll be happy to help thanks i'm mark at the caravan place